our next map to talk about English or British, 1754, first done in 1733. A couple of things I would say about this map, and then I want to tell a story to lead us into the next map. Look at the cartouche here, where the title is, and look at the shelves that surround the title of the map. This map was done by a British naturalist, Mark Catesby, uh, in the 1730s, and he was the, a naturalist who preceded Audubon and others and did one of the first, maybe the first, natural history of the southeastern U.S. I can also mention that this is one of the first times that the British colony of Georgia appears on a map. But the real story I want to tell leads us into the next map we will talk about. In the years leading up to what we know as the French and Indian War, and in Europe it was called the Seven Years' War, Great Britain controlled the Atlantic coastline and were pushing west. The French controlled the mouth of the Mississippi, New Orleans, the Mississippi River, and they were pushing east. It was clear war was coming between the British and the French. Spain, meanwhile, is sitting down here with Spanish Florida. The war breaks out. Spain sides with its Catholic ally, France, against its traditional enemy, Great Britain. And Spain even declares war on Great Britain in about 1762 with Great Britain retaliating by invading and capturing Havana. The French and Indian War ended, France lost, Spain lost, Spain wanted Havana back, and the only card they had to play was Florida. And therefore, in the first Treaty of Paris in 1763, Spain traded Florida to Great Britain in order to get Havana back and then it became a question for the British of what do they do with this new colony called Florida. 